Donald Hamilton Fraser was one of the most distinctive and idiosyncratic artists of the immediate post-war generation. He is best known for his evocative, semi-abstract depictions of landscapes, still lives, and some wonderful figure paintings. Donald had a really um, wonderful technique he employed whereby he would put his paints onto an old telephone directory which would absorb a lot of the oil, leaving him with a very thick, stiff impasto which he would apply liberally, creating wonderful angles and lines and an extraordinary depth to his work. In this example, we see an endless Aegean sea stretching out before us with an angular foreground. It's absolutely extraordinary that an artist can create that sense of depth using all those different colours of blue. The wonderful thing about his paintings is they have extraordinary space within them. They have great skies or wonderful seas and his colours are bold and vibrant and they create the most evocative scenes. When I met him um, over lunch one time, he closely observed the elegance and poise of the waitress, who in fact, when we discovered with his charm um, of questioning her, she was indeed a ballerina. And he went on to spend many hours at English National Ballet observing dancers. These paintings are a reflection of Donald's personality. There he was a gentle, kind man and extremely benevolent in many ways. Donald once said, an artist doesn't choose what he paints, he paints what's inside him, it's a sort of imperative. Donald died in 2009, aged 80, and left a wonderful legacy to the art world, not only in the students that he taught at the Royal College of Art, the likes of David Hockney, but he also was an extraordinarily generous and kind man to other artists and to his patrons. He once said to me that he hoped his paintings would be a comfort and that it would reassure people that there was a better world and that world was within us.